Yes. He saw new hits like Footloose, Mystic River, A Few Good Men, and Apollo 13. Now you can see him in the hilarious new TV show, I Love Dick. It's a warm welcome back to Kevin Bacon! Dark 30, The Help, and The Martian. Now she's taking the lead in political thriller Miss Sloan, and it's a fabulous Jessica Chastain! Oh. Hello! Hi! Hi. Hi. Lovely. I've seen you so often. So I'm in. Sit down. Sit down. And just listen to these films uh, The Godfather, Annie Hall, Reds, First Wives Clubs, Something's Gotta Give. She's a true style icon and a Hollywood legend. Welcome, for the first time, the great Diane Keaton, everybody! Yes! You good? You're on, you're on. That's the hardest bit. That's the hardest bit. Give it to Diane. Woo! Woo! Uh, welcome all. Very nice to see you all. Uh, cheers. Cheers! cheers. See, that's a good bit, too. Now, you have the red wine with the ice. This that is, your, is correct. This is your signature drink. That's my drink. Yeah, it's, it is. It's called a Keaton, isn't it? it that's correct, uh, too. Yeah. You're good. You're very good. Oh, I'm just good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is, your, this is your people. These are the people that are in the audience. <laughs> oh and they're I very happy to see you. Really? I, I, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> But they're very charming looking. Yes. <laughs> Don't lie, Diane. They, but <laughs> <laughs> no. now, Kevin, I'm Kevin, gonna have a drink. Please, right please, please. It. down it in one. Chug it. Kevin, are you uh, gonna drink? <laughs> I'm gonna drink. No, I'm drinking. Yeah. You are yeah. gonna have Cheers. a drink. Cheers. Yeah. Here's to you. Here's she's to lovely. You. I think oh she's gosh. great. Yeah. Well, you I like mean, her. I'm obsessed with her, and she <laughs> just said, "Here's to you," and we oh, cheers. No. Here again. Twice. Oh. <laughs> you know, I think Kevin's very attractive. Yes. Thank you. Back at you. I haven't seen, I don't, when was the last time I saw you? Never. I don't know, maybe never. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you look so great. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's, yeah. A good, it's a good couch. Likewise. Yeah. Likewise. Well, she's very attractive, you know. <laughs> you, on the other hand. I know. I know. <laughs> you. I live Let's here. We let, it, we let ourselves go here. <laughs> Here's the thing. This is extraordinary. Last weekend, it was this. It 45th anniversary of The Godfather. Wow. 45th That's anniversary. right. And you all gathered. Yeah. <laughs> they were all gathered together. I mean, that must be extraordinary because you were. That was extraordinary. Because you were such different people 45 years ago. I was pretty much the same, <laughs> but everybody else was different because, you know, they're fantastic actors and, of course, Francis was so articulate. I wish everybody could have been hear him tell the stories about what he went through to make that movie and every single choice that he made was just like a genius choice and he had to fight for everything. I remember he was talking about how they wanted to fire Pacino and they wanted him out and he had shot, Francis had shot the early scenes where we're just young and we're kind of... He He's kind of insecure, and they kept hating him, the, the studio. And so what happened was that Francis, being a genius, he said, OK, I'm going to shoot this one scene. And he shot the scene so that they wouldn't fire Pacino, of where Pacino kills the cop. Do you know where yeah, Pacino? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. my god. Yeah. And that scene, Al Pacino is so great in that scene. It's so moving. And you know, I hadn't seen the movie in 30 years. So I figured, well, I'm going to be there. So I took my computer out and I watched it on computer. <laughs> and I have to tell you, the movie is genius. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe it. <laughs> and it's all that Dan Francis story. <laughs> Oh my God! I, 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 it was great to be there. Yeah, you play. I it mean, was. It's, it's a huge kudos to you. But it's not interesting to hear about. Sure it's it is. Like, yeah, it is. Yes, you it is. think it's so yeah. boring. No. Uh, no, no, it, it, I, mean, I like the audience more. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to them. No, I mean, I've, I wonder I've, what they think. I've tried that. Oh, really. Did you? I, it didn't work out. I, I, <laughs> trust me. I mean, I've you're good on your own. I've been telling the chair for nearly 20 years. I, 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 I've talked to them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what we're going to do now? Uh oh. We're going to talk about your film. 
Mine? It's all about you now. Uh, That's <laughs> evil. That's an evil gesture. Uh, no, new film. It's Hampstead, and yeah. it's out on the 23rd of June. And this, it, it's, it's a British film. Yes. I mean, and it's totally British. It's all yeah. a great cast. And it's, yeah. it's based on a, a true story, but you're the fiction. Yeah, I'm the fiction, for sure. <laughs> I'm really the fiction. Yes. Do you want me to say something about it? It's best. Yes, I think it's best. <laughs> Well, it's really a very dear picture. Obviously, it's about older people, do you know, and that are, well, oh, God, am, I'm the person talking about yeah, it? Yeah, it's you. It has to be no me. No one okay. else is here. All right, yeah. okay. I mean, I've so, seen it. I can say a bit, but I, oh, you, know. you saw it? Yeah, of course I did. Well, yeah. what did you think? I really liked it. You did? I did. He's sweet. But anyway, blah. <laughs> I, I, I have to say that, you know, these two people are at a point in their life where they're completely stuck and they don't know what life is going to bring for them. And it, it's, a, it's a very sweet picture. I, I, I'm really proud of it. I, I feel happy to be part of it. And the, the man you see, he, he was the real part. It's Brendan Gleeson. Do you all know him? Yes. <laughs> yes. He's good. Oh, he's <laughs> fabulous. I love Brendan Gleeson. He's really a great actor. And, and that was odd for me because, you know, he's really an actor and then there's me. As opposed to all those other slubs exactly. you've been with. <laughs> What did she say? Yeah. <laughs> well, whatever. Okay. There's but, a bunch but, of guys in, in New York going, hey, wait a second. <laughs> but, but Brendan, he plays a, a character called Donald who's based on a, a real person yeah. called Harry. Mm -hmm. Harry, Harry Hampstead, mm -hmm. is he called? And do you remember this story? I didn't remember it. He, he squatted on a, a bit of Hampstead Heath and ended up owning it, mm -hmm. huh? which is... Mm -hmm. Sort of an amazing story. It's an amazing story, yes. But he died a few years ago, the, the real guy. He did die. Yeah. I know. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> uh, Do we all have to die? Can we get into that? Let's not. No, okay. Let's <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're all having a nice time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying it. There's yeah. more red wine and ice. Yeah, you gotta let's, shut me up. Let's live a little longer. Okay, yeah. uh, uh, let's tell you what, let's have a taste of the film. Oh, let's this have is, a taste? Is, yeah, you this... mean a, a clip? Well, actually, it's kind of the trailer. It's, oh, fine, it, even better. You see? You're uh, happy. Yeah, I don't know what it it's is. It's in but... color, you it's talk, in color? it's great. Okay. You're gonna love this. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> Hello? Wow. Oh, I hope I'm not disturbing you. Too late for that. This is an eviction notice. <laughs> You're living on land worth millions. They really don't want you here. Oh it's a shame, if only they got to know me. No, no. So am I different to what you expected? You seem... Go on. ...cleaner. <laughs> it never stops, does it? The whole world wants me to change, and now you too. If you really want to stay here, you're gonna have to fight for it. The way I live might seem different to a lot of people. All I care about is my home. And in that regard, I'm no different to any of you. <laughs> okay. This is my, um... Handyman. And, and your character in the film, she dresses quite like, um... Me? Yes, yes, <laughs> because you are very recognisable. Why? Well, because you have a look, you have a, a kind of iconic look. Jessica's nodding, it's not just me. It's yeah. not just me. Iconic look. Yeah. I know that many times <laughs> I've done a movie and I've said, can I have the Annie Hall look, please? <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> Because was Annie Hall, was that the first time you were given sort of free reign to put it together was. your own look? Yeah, there it is. And, yeah, there it is. Yeah. It's amazing. It is amazing and timeless. Is it, it's timeless? Well, it, because it yeah. was never in fashion. I'm looking at me and I'm thinking, wow. <laughs> That's right, it was never in fashion. Yeah. You're right, it's there just, you go. It, it's your look. That's you, you know, you ploughed your I own fur. I, I don't know what to say. I don't see anybody in the audience that has it. No. <laughs> they think they rejected it. You know, you're owning it. <laughs> fashion it's, icon, it's a true fashion icon. So do you, have, do you have ever have days when you kind of think, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be Diane Keaton today. I'm gonna wear something that isn't a. I'm not. I'm gonna break the mold. I'm not going to look like Diane Keaton. I wouldn't know how to do that since I am Diane Keaton, aren't I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. I just want to be what I want to be, right? I'm gonna wear what I like. Yes. You think I'm gonna break it? Well, in the. Are you suggesting I should change? No. I think you are. No. I'm just I saying. I'm just saying. One day you might think... like no one to know who you were. They that don't know be... who I am. I live in California. You know, all I do <laughs> is I get in my car and I do like what everybody else says, and nobody cares because you know, you know, they've seen enough of us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, it's so simple. But being recognized so... can sometimes be to your advantage. Uh, Jessica Chastain. Now. I... Had you broken the law? It wasn't me. <laughs> I 
I was in a car and someone else was driving and I kept saying, please slow down, slow down. And yeah. of course they didn't. And then we got pulled over and the cop went around to the side and the person driving was from another country. And I was like, oh, this is just going to be a disaster. And the cop looked at me and said, are you an actor? And I said, yeah. And he goes, what films have you been in? <laughs> and I knew that was my moment <laughs> to get out of the ticket. And I better say the right film. Yeah, yeah. So I took my sec, I looked him up and down and I thought, what, you know, the help? Yeah. No, probably not. Um, and I said, Zero Dark 30. And then he goes, hey, okay, yeah. can I have your picture? <laughs> and <laughs> wow! Yeah. And, uh, Kevin Bacon, you did try to do the thing I was talking to Diane about, about trying to go out incognito, to, to not be Kevin Bacon. I had a disguise built by a special effects makeup artist. Uh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Was it a, like a fake nose? I don't want to say. Glasses? I can't say. Are you wearing it now? I'm wearing it now. <laughs> so Kevin Bacon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm Michael Fassbender. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So versatile. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like people not recognizing you? Well, I'll tell you, you know, uh, people don't talk about the fact that being recognizable is 99.9% .9 good. Because people are nice to you mm -hmm. all day long for absolutely no reason. People stop you in the street and say, Kevin, I love you. I mean, who doesn't want to be loved, right? Who, who doesn't want to have somebody say, I love you, Jessica. I love it. <laughs> I mean, that, that's that's a great that's a great feeling, and you can get out of tickets, and uh, <laughs> you know they'll give you free sneakers and shit like that. But anyway, it's mostly good, is my point. Once in a while, you try to think to yourself, like, what would it be like to just walk through the world anonymously? So I decided to you know experiment with that. And um, it worked. I mean, you can't. I mean, obviously, I had it done by professionals and yeah. applied by professionals, and and you definitely didn't know it was me. And I went to uh, there's a, a, a outdoor shopping mall in, in California called the Grove, which is sort of like the worst oh place to. God. It's the worst place you want to walk around in. <laughs> if you're a celebrity, yeah. that, you're, that you know that's that's a guaranteed you know yeah, a yeah. place that you're gonna be taking some selfies. And um, I walked straight through the Grove, and nobody recognized me, and it was. Awful. <laughs> I was like, this sucks, man. I'm going back to Kevin Bacon, ASAP. Oh. Uh, now, Jessica Chastain, you give a knockout performance uh, in your new movie, Miss Sloan. It's out next oh, Friday, God, 12th I love of May. The, look at that. I know. Strong, that right? A, that's a great one sheet. Mm -hmm. Strong. Thanks. Look at her. Intimidating. Your performance is a real tour de yeah. force. It's kind of. Okay. Uh, it's almost like a kind of forensic look at how uh, the lobbying groups work in, in Washington. And I'm sure we have lobbyists here, but it's not the same as Washington, where it's big, big business, isn't it? Yeah, it's a huge business, and I didn't really understand it uh, until I took the role. I read Jack Abramoff's book. I don't know if you guys know of him. He's an American lobbyist who ended up in jail. That's right, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so I thought this is a really interesting place to start. And then I went to D.C. and met with about a dozen female lobbyists. Because there aren't that many women who do it, is that right? No, it's about, it's about 10%. I mean, first of all, women in American politics is already, it's, it's a tough field <laughs> for so, women. So we hear. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a little less than 10%. And so I met with um, female lobbyists there, and I was shocked by the amount of money that lobbyists make. Um, and also, I was really shocked by the way they presented themselves. How much money do they make? Well, <laughs> I'm interested. They can make... <laughs> are, you, are you thinking of a change they, of you career? Think I got a shot. <laughs> Yes, no, you can do anything you want, yeah. but I think you're doing fine. <laughs> How much do they make? Like they, they can make millions. Seriously? Yeah, it's like, um, you oh. know, a, a big corporation. You know, Coca-Cola has lobbyists. Uh, you, um, you can hire a lobbyist to defeat a bill or try to pass a bill. Mm -hmm. Basically, the term lobbyist um, was coined by the people waiting in the lobby to plead their cases. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, they can make a ton of money depending on who's hiring them. Listen, we've got a clip. Uh, this is you explaining to your, your team, because you basically... We, we didn't... Sorry, we should have explained that bit. Uh, so, uh, you're, so you're a lobbyist and you change signs, is that...? Yeah, yeah, so basically the gun lobby tries to hire her to get women into guns, and she says, screw this, I'm going to actually go work for the other side. So here she... I think in this clip she's working with a, a bipartisan uh, lobbying agency that's fighting to pass the bill for stricter gun regulation. Mm. True. <laughs>
What's the best indicator of voter intention? Money. Dollars. That's our first prong. Grassroots action aimed squarely at soliciting donations. Not names on a petition, not clicks in cyberspace. Will they know how much we're raising? Nonprofits have to report on their finances. But every congressional staffer watches finding they like a hawk. While you're out there hustling, I'll be working influential senators who can deliver their colleagues votes. That's our second prong. Our third is to identify who holds sway in target states. Employers, workers groups. Don't just waltz into a senator's office and make your case. Find out who they trust, who they can't afford to piss off. Convince that person to make your case. That is how we win. Wow. I mean, she's tough beyond belief, this Super this tough. She's yeah. also beautiful. Yes, hello. <laughs> Well, that worked out. The nose is great, don't you think? Yeah, I think it's all worked out. Yeah. I used to get nose. picked on for my nose. No way, man. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, I had a director once tell me what when I think? said, why do you think you, I'm right for this part? And he <laughs> said to me, he goes, I want to film your nose. <laughs> See? He was right. So it got me a part. <laughs> it's just the beginning, man. It's gorgeous. It's a great nose. Oh, thanks. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You use it really well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, when you've been on the show before, you've talked to us about uh, your grandmother. Yes. Now, she's quite, um, I was going to say sexually active. She's not sexually active. Well, maybe she is, I don't know. <laughs> but she's, she's... I don't think those words have ever um, come out of me that my grandmother was sexually active. No, but she, she, likes, she likes men. Yes. She likes yes. 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 Okay. The, yes. Now, your grandmother has this picture, which I think... Yes. You, uh, so this is by her... Okay, I know this, that. This is on her bedside table. This is her and uh -huh. Al Pacino. Yeah, you yes. reduce them. She's, yes, but she's not sexually active with Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> so they um, make a lovely couple. <laughs> she wishes. Um, no, um, I was doing a play with Al. Um, it was my first thing. It was in L.A., Salome. And my grandmother was there, and she's a huge fan. She loves The Godfather. She'd be freaking out right now. Uh. Um, and so I said, Al, I want you to meet my grandmother. And he looked at her, and he goes, that's your grandmother? Hubba, hubba. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, made her life. <laughs> and so I took a picture of the two of them, and she framed it and put it on her bedside oh. table. Oh, that's nice. Oh. But no, but no, you say, didn't you, when you got to L.A., make it your life's mission to get her a boyfriend? Yes, which I still haven't done, and it's very upsetting to me. So if there are any handsome Englishmen out there who likes redheads and is not a pervert or anything here... <laughs> yes. No, I... Um... Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I made a Match.com account for my grandmother, <laughs> and I did a photo shoot for her. Like we, like I did her makeup. Tasteful, I'm sure. Tasteful. Very tasteful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when the men would call, she'd be like, "It's someone from the website." It's like, okay, and I'd give her hints, like, but the guys would call and they'd be like, "What are you doing right now?" I'm like, "No, grandma." Mm -mm. <laughs> And make a date. You can't just be willy nilly going out there. So. Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tick, tick tock. Oh, no. <laughs> You're terrible. How dare you? <laughs> She's already let Al Pacino slip through her fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to uh, on-screen romance, now, Diane, I think you like the on-screen romance, don't you? It's the best. I mean, quite frankly, <laughs> it, it doesn't get better than on-screen romance. Because, frankly, you know, think of all the men that you get to kiss and you don't pay the price. You know, like, in other words, <laughs> you don't actually have to have a... You know, the relationship is perfect because you're telling the story, you're in the midst of the story. So, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I enjoy it. <laughs> and... You know, I, I also like the audience, and if there's some men out there, you know, <laughs> that I can kiss, just because it's a friendly gesture. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. First of all, it's just the greatest. I mean, there's nothing better than, than kissing a man in a movie. Is and people say that's difficult, but they're wrong. <laughs> they're dead wrong. It depends on the man. Like, look at, look, you and me kiss now. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> This is 
so exciting for me. This is so exciting for me. First of all, I hit them. Because if you don't <laughs> hit them, look, he needs to be, he needs punishment. Okay. I'm going to take the face like that. Okay. I'm going to go like this, you big idiot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's made my life. That has made my life. Now I'm gonna kiss Kevin. Okay, you can kiss Kevin. Can I kiss Kevin? I'm, if Kevin's Kevin is willing. Are you ready, I'm Kevin? I'm willing. But then yeah. I'm gonna kiss Kevin. Woo! 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 Oh, Kevin. Woo! Oh, see, that was so good. That was so good. Go on. Now I'm gonna kiss Jessica, too. Yeah, you have to. Even though, you know, she's not a man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that girl. First of all, the nose is great, okay? <laughs> we're gonna do we're gonna touch that sweet nose. Right? And then we're gonna big kiss like like she's my dear daughter, you little baby. You've been bad. You've been a bad Oh daughter. my god, what is happening? <laughs> I don't know about you, but you better be better. Mm -hmm. oh. Fabulous. I mean, you know, I, I could try out on the audience, though. It'd be much better. <laughs> <laughs> what a long show that turned into. <laughs> can, I, can I just say, bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. That was amazing. That was amazing. Uh, now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, Miss Sloan is a great name for a film. It's a really good name for it. It's Hampstead, a good, solid <laughs> title. Okay, first of all, Hampstead, first of all, oh. I love London. I, I, and, and London, to me, is, is the most important... Oh, I now you want to talk it. about it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I shouldn't drink. No, but I do love London. Because the, if there's... <laughs> I should be dismissed. <laughs> um, <laughs> London going, is so going. fabulous because it's just a beautiful city. And if you're lucky enough to be in the center, then you can just walk around. And it's just the greatest walking place ever, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely, I'm with you, you, yes. Number one, number one. Hey, Diane. What, uh-oh. I love Dick. We're not gonna kiss him. I love Dick. <laughs> Is you the love name, Dick? Is the name of Kevin Bacon's I love Dick. new show. Are you kidding? That's the best, but why? Ian's about to tell us. He's going to tell us. I love Dick. Is it's it available to watch. It's a comedy. It's a comedy. <laughs> yeah, it's no, it, 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 it has to be a comedy. It's a comedy. <laughs> Uh, it, it's available uh, to watch on Amazon Prime from the 12th of May. Did you just say yes because it was called I Love Dick? Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is a great title. Yeah, I mean, I, I said yes because I knew that after we finished the show, I would be doing press, and I would constantly be hearing interviewers say, I love Dick, I love Dick, I love Dick. Tell us about, I love Dick. Well, do, do tell us about, you play Dick, obviously. I play Dick, yeah. yeah. Um, I Love Dick is a, uh, it's, it's a show from uh, uh, Jill Soloway, who created uh, Transparent, and uh, it's her next show after that. Be interesting. Um, and the, and the, uh, it's, it's a lot about uh, the female gaze. It's about female desire. Finally. It's about, it's about, um, it's, a, it's an all-female uh, uh, writer's room. And it's about a couple that comes to a small town in, in Texas and uh, played by Katherine Hahn, who's incredible, and, and Griffin Dunn, who's also fantastic. Griffin Dunn? Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, and yeah. They, are, they are a couple, and, and they um, uh, have sort of lost a bit of the fire in their relationship, and they get obsessed with uh, this kind of mythical artist, cowboy, teacher a dude named Dick, and their, their mutual obsession with him reignites their sexual relationship. Uh, so it's a, it's a very kind of bizarre um, love triangle, but it's very funny, and uh, it's sexy, and, and uh, it's, it's kind of interesting because it is about, truly about female desire and, and, and about I, I am the object. You know, I'm I'm objectified. I'm liking this. You are, yeah. He's the well, object. Uh, this is a clip. This is where uh, the character Chris is meeting the object of her obsession, Dick, for the first time. Is it possible that I saw you on a horse yesterday? Yeah, I have a ranch just outside of town. Oh, how how big? Curious. You want to know how big? 
My ranchers. No more polite to ask a rancher the size of his acreage than to ask a lady her age. Duly noted. Mm -hmm. I'm just, for the record, I'm on a dividing line. I'm, I'm st st straddling 40-ish. Right. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, very quickly, I just want to ask you, can you, do you know, and if you do, can you explain what uh, BFC UKB means? You came up with Oh, this BFC case. UKB? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what that is. Um, <laughs> we were doing a movie uh, called um, Apollo 13. Not called, that sounds like... <laughs> To call. No, I'm not that guy. It popped out. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Apologies. We'll erase that piece of it later. <laughs> Graham, we're... <laughs> I was filming Apollo 13. Oh, yes. Uh, with, um, sadly, uh, Bill Paxton, who uh, passed this year, and Tom Hanks. And we were shooting the scene, and I said to... Uh, uh, Ron Howard, I said, hey, man, I think what you need here is a BFC UKB. And he goes, uh, we need what? I said, I think, I think it would really help, like, this moment for a BFC UKB. And he goes, okay, I, I give up. What's a BFC? I said, a big fucking close-up of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, we must meet our next guest. Uh, from X-Men to Steve Jobs and Prometheus, he's one of Hollywood's hottest stars. Now he's back with the latest Alien movie. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Michael Fassbender! <laughs> Michael Fassbender, uh, very kindly, just left the premiere of Alien Covenant. Yep. Uh, so how was that? Uh, it looked like it was in good shape. Uh, I, I sort of left before the film started. <laughs> um, <laughs> you no, thought it was safe? Yes, yeah. I thought it was at uh, the right time to leave. Um, yeah. Actually, no. sorry, but I did... Because, uh, Diane, have you met Michael but, Fassbender? No, I... I, I... Well, you no. have now. <laughs> but, yeah, we just, we just said hi. Oh, OK. Yeah. yeah, but you haven't met previously. No, I've, I've never seen no. you, have I? No, we've no, never no, met. I don't think have so. you kissed? I was going to say oh, you yeah. kissed. Because <laughs> 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 everybody else has. Yeah, now I'm a freak. I understand <laughs> that. Don't worry, don't worry. You might don't as well. well. I, I might oh as well. You kissed all of us. I just kissed everyone. We all kissed. We've all kissed. You kissed me. You started it. What? You get two. Oh, oh. <laughs> now can I go into the audience and start kissing him? No, not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Soon. I'm ready. Soon. Pucker up, everyone. She'll be yeah, meeting you shortly. Yeah. You know, It'll be I, like a deli counter. Now, now, now kissing. I had this idea that Diane Keaton was going to go to bed tonight thinking the last man I kissed was Kevin Bacon, but no! <laughs> You just uh, clearly traded up. <laughs> the night is not over. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of audience members. Hey, listen, uh, we must talk. Alien Covenant. Uh, it's out next Friday, May the 12th. So everyone's been waiting for this film, talking about this film, guessing what's going on in this film. Mm. Uh, what can you tell us about the film? It basically goes back to the first Alien, uh, so the sort of DNA of that is, is, is there for sure in terms of the, the xenomorph, which is the alien, uh, is back, um, which people were sort of disappointed they didn't see, I guess, in Prometheus. And also just the horror elements of that first film, it's very much a thriller horror film and and then it's got a lot of the sort of philosophy from Prometheus in terms of like where do we come from who created us and and just you know the idea of creation as a whole and then of course AIs you know artificial intelligence and 
uh, and where our future lies with that. And so you play David. I play David, yes. From Prometheus. That's right, yeah. That David. Yeah. And can you tell us any more? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's another robot. Yes. Yeah, for sure, there's another robot. There's, there, there's a guy called Walter. <laughs> yes. You, uh, you play as well. I play also Walter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually play Walter too? Yeah, I play Walter, yeah. How's Wal Walter doing? Walter's okay. He's, he's, he's a, you know, he's kind of... He's more of a boring son. I mean, if you wanted to have a good time, I would go out with David. Uh, oh, David's better. Uh, yeah, you know, you're, you're That says to... so much about you. What do you mean? Oh, he does? I would go out with Walter. What do you mean? I Walter's mean... nice, relaxed, Yes, he's lovely. nice, but, you know, he's kind of neutral. You're not going to get an opinion off Walter, let's say. I have a lot of opinions. OK, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at a clip. This is you uh, as Walter trying to help the crew yeah. to trap the alien. OK. Where is it? It's on V deck. Starboard side. Descending into sea level. K13. Seal C61. Open airlock 17. We're going in. K12. Secure. Was Walter. That was Walter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I heard that in the first movie, in Prometheus, there was a lot of kind of outtakes, lots of David stuff that didn't get in. Um, no. Or was that in this film? I mean, there's probably lots of extra stuff that I, I wanted to have David sort of dancing in on sort of the disco deck of the ship. Uh, for the end, you know, when the, when the credits were rolling, I thought it might be quite a funny to do, like, a Napoleon Dynamite sort of exit uh, uh, for the character. But Ridley didn't go for it, and I, you know, I still don't understand why. <laughs> yeah. But you learnt the dance, didn't you? No. I thought you did learn the dance. No, I mean, I've done the robot probably back in 1987, or, you know, when I was going through the breakdance phase. Um, I love that you went to a breakdance. Oh, yeah, I love the fact that breakdance made it to Fossa. And there was a breakdance club, you know. In just, Kerry, there was yeah, a breakdance club sure, in Kerry. Yeah, yeah. What is breakdance? Breakdance? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can show me. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I... Do you guys it? know what breakdance is? No. <laughs> <laughs> Try breakdance move, know. Kevin. If you, you definitely know breakdance. I have teach no us, idea how to I'll learn dance. if you want to teach it. Uh, okay. What, what, what can you teach us? What have you got? What have you got? Breakdance wise? No, no. Okay, breakdance is a law. Can you do some robot? I might rip something yeah, if I do... try. I'm going to try. <laughs> can you do some robot? A flick swan dive. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, do you want to do? Some... No, no. Yes, that, that, please. That would be I, very I dangerous. I don't even. I haven't know done what that it is. in years. Let's no. try. No, no, no. Because he's not insured. This could be the end of the BBC. Yeah, yeah. If we break yeah, Michael yeah. Fassbender. <laughs> yeah. I, could, I could try a flick swan yeah. dive, I suppose. Okay. Yeah. 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 You do it back here. There's enough room here. I better take this off. Oh, but, well, that means clip, I got... Clip this. The microphone's already that's in okay. the pocket. That's you don't okay. need to hear sound effects as we I'm will. going down. We will. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> okay. No, because that, that's a test no. here. No, no, we'll take it out. We'll take it out. And we'll shove it in somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Here I, can't we go. Believe I can't believe you're going to do it either, but uh, <laughs> I stay. But for the record, it's her. It's her. Do you, do you want some music? Do you want some music? Sure. Uh, some music, I guess. Some music. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to wait for some? Do you want to wait for some music? Yeah, I'll wait. Okay. Here's the music. I... Oh, okay, okay. We can't hear you now. <laughs> oh, Where's your one? Gary Newman, an influence for Walter the Robot. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, turn it up. Turn it up. Crank it up. Crank it up.
But right now, it's time for music. This Grammy Award-winning band are back with a bang. And they're here tonight performing their current single, We Got the Power. It's Gorillaz, everybody! <laughs> Thank you very much for doing that. Come on in, meet everybody. Okay. There's a Kevin, a Jessica, Diane, and Michael. Hello. That's Jenny Good. and nice Damon. Uh, Sorry. Oh, 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 I've overbooked. Hang on. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Very good. Now, that is off uh, the new album, which is... This is out now, isn't it, Damon? Yeah, it was, it was out this week. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Don't make my head hurt. Uh, yeah, no, humans, humans. Oh, that was your... That's my one, yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, mine's alcoholic. Drank alcohol. Oh, well. Is that the first time in a while? Uh, in the three years. Oh, okay. shit. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to have a lot to say. <laughs> Jenny would not shut up. Uh, <laughs> uh, sounding great, Jenny. And so, Jenny, how did you get involved in Gorillaz? Well, we met on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Well, I'm glad it's worked out. That's <laughs> great. That's great. <laughs> And there's a tour. Gorillas are going on tour. Are you going on the tour? Yeah, I'm going to do some of it. Okay, because David, bits, I'm not... bits. I mean, we've got a lot of people. Yeah. But people come and go. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't, no one sort of comes for the whole tour. So but, the... But, but we have all of these amazing visuals, so yeah. you get the sense that they're there anyway. Yeah. That's, that's extraordinary. So is the one constant you? If you want to call it a constant, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So you put it all together and you invite the other people. Because uh, uh, that, that uh, was Noel Gallagher on stage with you, wasn't it? Is he? Oh, there he is! Hi. I'm glad that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so will Noel be doing any of the tour? I think you're doing some of it, aren't you? Bits and bits and bits. So when yeah. did you guys make up? <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's happening now. This is, this, this is part of it. This is part of it. Um, and the, the tour is an enormous tour, isn't it? It is quite. It is quite extensive. Yeah. A lot of it is already sold, sold and done. So it's just Europe and Britain. That but isn't something still... going on sale soon? I think tomorrow. Yes. Europe and, and, and oh, okay, and good. Asia. Where we are. Yeah. We're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is so, this has worked out really well. <laughs> but, uh, well, thank you for bringing all that. And, and a special shout out to that bell. Is that a special bell? Is it a special bell? I had three of those bells made at That's the um, the Bow Foundry. Bow, Bow Bell oh, yeah. Foundry. Yeah. Um, I had three notes on the last uh, Gorilla's record. There's a song called Melancholy Hill, and it has uh, three notes D, A, and C sharp. And I had those three notes made uh, thinking I was going to play them on. on on the song. I never actually played them on the song and they cost like £8,000 each. So. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but they're the most beautiful bells <laughs> you could ever imagine. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yes, you can. Is the, is the price the same for the note or does it go up as the note goes up the scale? <laughs> uh, well, actually, it goes up the lower the low, because, ah. they have, because they have to get bigger. I knew there was an answer. A really high that. note yeah. is really cheap. Cheap. Because yeah. less. Yeah. Yeah, and, there's, and I'm going to sound yeah. really thick now. What's the cracked mm. bell in Philadelphia? The Liberty Bell. Yeah. That's my hometown. That's from there. Bow. That's from the same foundry, the Liberty Bell. Oh, it's the same yeah. foundry. You're yeah. absolutely right. There yeah. you go. You wow. Knew that. wow. I knew that. I didn't know, and that's where oh, I was wow. born and raised. So. Well, there you go. How much is that thing worth? So that. That was probably made with the same moulds that the Liberty Bell was made. No kidding. Yeah. Ah, do you want to go and... I, I, I do want to. I want to go and touch it. I would like to. I can, I can play. Oh, I love it. Dick. OK. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's nearly it. Before we go, just time for a visit to the Big Red Chair. It's his show. Uh, who's there? Who's there? Hi. Hello. What's your name? Jason. Jason, lovely. And where are you from, Jason? I'm from America. OK, keeping that quite vague. Uh, <laughs> He's on the run from the police. Uh, and uh, do you live here, Jason? Uh, yeah, for about five months I'm living in London. OK, what do you do here? I'm dating a French girl. <laughs> <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, all right, off you go with the story, Jason. And I want to apologize to her, because this story is about my ex-girlfriend, so let me oh. start. <laughs> so, well, not the French girl. Yeah, sorry. Oh, okay, but you went out with someone else. You, she's, in the live. she's in the audience, so sorry. Who, the French girl or the ex? Yeah. The, French the French girl. The French girl. Bonjour. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so my ex and I had this tradition where we would joke with each other, where one of us would sneak up behind the other, and we, I, one of us would stick our hand between the other's legs and swipe up really quick, and then yell, <laughs> credit card accepted. And, uh... <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, Who's that girl in the beret leaving? Uh... So one time uh, we were at the grocery store and I ran up behind her and I stuck my hand between her legs and swiped up and I said, credit card accepted. And she turned around and it wasn't my girlfriend. <laughs> She started screaming, what are you doing? And we had this kind of back and forth before she stormed off. And then my ex strolled over to me, shaking her head, and she said, credit card denied. <laughs> that's right, that's, that's not walker. bad. Yeah. Can we let him walk? Absolutely. Michael says walk. You can walk, Jason. Walk, walk, walk. There you go. And well done, everyone. If you got to go to the show and have a go on that red chair, you can that as via website. And this, 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 this. And that is it for tonight. Please say a huge thank you to my guest, Gorillas, everybody. And Gorillas, everybody.
rock star Melvin May, comedian Jason Lanford, actress Billy Piper and Charlie Hannon, and iconic British director Guy Ritchie. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.